Uh, <laughs> Should I read my DMs of fights that I did before? What does that mean? Like <laughs> before? Your, your, like when you were trying to get when a job When I was here? trying to get an internship? Yes, please. I'm also offended you didn't DM me. I did, I did. But oh. then I like, you didn't respond. On Twitter or Instagram? It was IG. Instagram. So, but then I went through like a week where I would like, I would drunkenly DM fights. I don't know why. <laughs> And I like really wanted the job, so then I, I said, "This is it, and this is exactly why I don't read my DMs." No, and then and then it, the episode after, nonsense. you literally were like, "Oh, I delete all my DMs," and I was like, "Cool." I don't like, delete I them; I just don't read them. I they just my first DM with you was after you worked here and you spelled mannequin M A N I K I N. <laughs> no, I had one before. Was that? I had one before, and it was asking. It was like a big long paragraph. Oh, I I don't know if you deleted it or if it didn't. I don't but know. But then I knew that John wasn't gonna like read the big long paragraph, so I didn't even bother <laughs> sending that to him. Not. So I said, Yeah. What, how did Jackie get it? Tell the people how to get a job here at Barstool. Uh, I I just I DM'd everybody, <laughs> and then I scrapped that one. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Sorry. It's so, it's, it really <laughs> is such a fine line because I bet you everybody who got a job here at one point was like I DM'd somebody and they replied. So it's like that's a good idea, but also we might hate you immediately. <laughs> she had a, she had a case of like just right time. Like she yeah. had DM'd me the night before I yeah, got approved sense. to she get was, an she's intern. She's not a standout. And, you know, <laughs> she's not a standout candidate. It was just like uh, Nick was like I'm in a jam. I need somebody. And you were the first one on the top of the list. <laughs> uh, but that, she well she actually did like follow up and like actually had ideas whether or not they go go get got it. implemented we'll we'll see but you, you <laughs> adapted i improvised, improvised and i overcame, overcame which also i think it's back whatever <laughs> i said does kfc radio take in these are cringe by the way and like i was drunk cringe so. city let's go <laughs> Does KFC Radio take interns? Like, I know Barstool does, but what about specifically you and Kevin? I absolutely love the show. I swear I'd be the best intern, which right lived up to that. Did you Did you have best? <laughs> the way you said it, did you have best in caps locks? No. Oh, okay. All right. The way you said it, I was like, oh. That's, I mean, I, I will say this. I think that that right off the bat is a good move to be like, I, I like that she singled out our show, whether it was true or mm -hmm. not. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. it was believable, it's like, okay, you don't want to just work that. here. You want to work for us. And then a day later, I said, hello, me again. So what are you thinking about that internship thing? As your intern, I'll twist off all the Miller Lite ball, baseball Shows Miller. that she watches. Yeah. Yeah. Miller Lite. Like, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Like, uh, like, good. Note you noticed it and it's a good joke and but it's not like something like you dumb fat bitch where it's like yeah. uh, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean okay keep going uh, Miller Lite bottle caps and that's my cover letter Wait, and then what? I, oh that's your my cover. cover letter and then I said Miller Lite I spelled that wrong probably not a great look for my cover letter <laughs> just wanted to let you know that I've applied to a few more internships so not to stress you out or anything but I might get snatched <laughs> up by another company. <laughs> So what do you say? And then the next day I said, so what do you say? We seal the deal on this. And then I look back on this being like, that's so embarrassing. I actually don't think any of that's that yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean, I think saying okay, like, okay. what do you say? We seal the deal is, is kind of like, what was going on? Yeah. But I, I don't think that's that bad. I think like, I, I trust think, me, I've seen okay, way, okay. way like, I think it's actually funny if you're like, just so you know, I've applied for other places and like, you might lose me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry, I'm going to somebody else. <laughs> I didn't even get Pretty good. Pretty, I think I understand why you're here. Yeah. That was, that was wow. Strong, strong show. Because, I mean, that's how low the bar is, Jackie. <laughs> that, that, that was pretty good. Let me, let me say what she sent to no, me. No, 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 yeah. Cause, cause now this, we're this paragraph starts now with... Okay, the big long paragraph. <laughs> Let's go. As a member of Gen Z and bored college student in quarantine, <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting on this voice, uh, I'm extremely in tune with TikTok and believe and believe that I could really advance KFC Radio TikTok account. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, she, I, she, I, she, uh, by the way, real, let me pause. Let me, let me dissect this. She knows nothing about her generation. I'm always like, yo, do you know who's dating this person? She's like, nope, I don't know anything. Don't she know didn't who. have a Twitter. She didn't have a TikTok. She doesn't know anything about these people. Wait, hold on. Do, do we even have a TikTok? <laughs> like, was it? Did Zach do it? Zach did like three TikToks with us. That's it. Like, yeah, we, we, we. I made one today. He would. Uh, what's that? I made one today. You made one for TK's radio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Word. Remember, remember that? Like Zach would come in at like 7 p.m. and be like, "I need you guys to choreograph a dance together." We're like, "Fuck you, get out of here." <laughs> uh, my okay, favorite line though was, "I've listened to." Uh, Wait, no, read, read the whole thing. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Keep going. It's like four paragraphs. Oh, but okay. uh, I've listened to KFC and fight so much that I've honestly picked up a slight Boston accent for a little bit, <laughs> which was weird because I lived in California all of my life. <laughs> Who'd you get it from, Kevin? Do I? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a fucking Boston accent? <laughs> 
I, Jackie's that, literally that tearing up That honestly made you <laughs> stick out, but like in the way that I almost immediately rejected you. Oh, but <laughs> not to do that because it makes it sound like I have like some kind of like what's it called mimicking disorder yeah, yeah. whatever that <laughs> and i was like how about did you uh, include like any did you make anything or do anything um I yeah yeah she had a she had a bunch of she thing. had a bunch of work examples which okay. is like literally that's the, main the reason thing. yeah that's I the main heavily thing. exaggerated my background but yeah <laughs> did you what 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 like what like uh what were your lies well, Snake it till you fucking spelling. make it. I still feel like it's like too early to whatever say no, that. Yeah. But, <laughs> you're sad. But you're there fine. was there was um I said so like for production experience, there I like did do this thing where I was producer. Senior producer. Damn. <laughs> I'm just reading this now. But, I just got senior producer. But, <laughs> but there was a show that I did where we got to give ourselves our own titles because there were like three people. And so then I went with senior producer. I think that's, yeah, that's what you yeah. That's, that's the lie that you'd tell. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a very fair resume yeah. lie. And okay. like you could bullshit your way through that if you're like, uh, there were two people under me, under me, and I yeah. yeah yeah that's good. But yeah, just you know, no one tells the truth on a resume. We're not expecting you to be okay, like okay, okay, okay. okay. exaggerated. No one tells like, the you. truth at all yeah. in life. Period. I didn't like really even know how to work Premiere honestly. Like the first day, I kind of taught myself a little bit, which I've been like trying to like. Yeah, no, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I picked yeah, up on yeah, that. Yeah. that, that. I mean, like yeah, I I put proficient in Spanish. I'm like <laughs> when I was like. Applying for jobs. Yeah, I do feel like maybe Premiere and Photoshop and those should be should be probably proficient in that for these jobs. But that's okay. That's okay. We're getting there now. Um, I was a landscaper. I should have been proficient in Spanish. <laughs> I wasn't. Ninety six percent of you motherfuckers watch these videos and aren't subscribed. Shout out to the four percent. You are good people. Four percent of people are watching. I our think clips. that's about about what the I, I would guess the breakdown of good people versus bad people in the world. Yeah. Good people versus bad people. Probably about ninety six percent to four. That's but fair. Be a good person. But it's not even. I'm not even asking you to be a good person. I'm asking you to push a button. Yeah, but, but, I'm asking you to click a button. Yeah, you, yeah, you can be a bad person still, but just click. You the can button. be a piece of shit. <laughs> just click subscribe. Ninety six percent of you watch these clips and they're like, "Oh my god, that was a funny clip from this podcast. I liked it." And I'm just not gonna help them out. The people who work to make it, the people who work to produce it, to post it, to upload it, and there's nothing from you. You're a bad person if you don't subscribe. Be a good one.